Imagine an engine that produces more power with less energy. That's the revolutionary concept behind a new engine conceived in Israel. More than 150 years ago, the invention of the internal combustion engine changed history, eventually leading to the birth of automobiles, airplanes, and even rockets. Since then, however, there's really been no major modification until now. One day, a weird guy named Shauli came and told us about an engine that has only one part, moving part and uh, very few parts and it does not uh, create a rotational movement. It sounded very far-fetched, but actually this was the beginning. Gail Friedman, CEO of Aquarius Engines, offers a different concept. The heart and soul uh, of, uh, of the engine is to take fuels or, or gas and uh, uh, convert it into rotational movement. Today we look at the role of the engine differently. We don't believe that the rotational engine will uh, survive. And we can see that mobility is going uh, toward electricity. So eventually what will turn the wheels will be an electric engine. The question is what will supply the energy for that engine. Friedman believes his engine can supply that energy and will do so with only one moving part. And now what you see is the cut of the engine. And this is a cylinder with a double-sided uh, piston that slides from side to side. And one time the engine creates an explosion on the left side, we push the piston right, and one time the explosion will occur on the right side and we'll push the piston to the left. The gas exchange is uh, going through the piston, through a hollow piston road. So as you can see, there is only one moving part in this engine. No valves, no crankshaft, no other parts, which means low friction, which means higher efficiency. Higher efficiency means less energy and lighter engines. The first major application for this engine is lighter and more efficient generators. Friedman believes this revolutionary development could make a major difference following a natural disaster like a hurricane or in undeveloped areas. Imagine a generator like that in an African village mm -hmm. or in Asia that you have to maintain every once in a, in a while. You have to bring it in a place where the ways are very hard. And imagine now that one to be carried, to be deployed. The advantage of size and weight and maintenance, we think we, we're going to light uh, places that are dark uh, today and make lives uh, easier. And since lighter engines mean lighter and less costly cars, down the road it might transform the way we drive. When somebody will come with a technology that will enable the mass market to adopt it, which means <laughs> a cheaper technology, this will be a turning point for the industry. And this is exactly what we're doing. It might take a few years, but Friedman hopes his company will make the world a better place. If we will be able to deliver the promise, then the global impact will be huge and will do some good for everybody. These engines are one more chapter in Israel being the startup nation and a light unto the nations.